Hello, this is Dr. Wilshire at Missouri Fertility in Columbia, Missouri. Today we're doing a hysteroscopy on a young woman who's been having abnormal bleeding. She also has polycystic ovarian syndrome and she happens to be from Central America and has a lot of Native American blood. You can see in her uh, overall body shape that she has very thin thighs. She carries her weight in the midsection and this makes her at very high risk for growing endometrial polyps. Polyps grow in the uterus when a woman is not having regular ovulation and when she has very high sugar levels and high insulin levels, that comes from the typical American high carbohydrate diet. She's been having abnormal bleeding in addition to infertility. So on ultrasound, we saw a thickened irregular lining of her uterus. We're looking at her uterus right now with a, hysteros with a hysteroscope and you can see right here, she has some very large polyps. This is an enormous polyp in the cavity of her uterus. You can see we're going to touch it right now with a, a, a forcep here. This is a polyp. And if we go up past the polyp, there's yet another polyp. No wonder she's been having heavy abnormal bleeding that just won't stop uh, and having a lot of uh, crampings. Now these polyps must come out they have at least a 5% chance of harboring a cancer. So we're going to take these polyps out. This is the base of this polyp. It probably has a blood vessel and a fibrous base, which means it's been around for a while. You can see how we take these out. We're gonna grab the polyp and essentially just tear off the base. It may bleed a little bit, but we should be able to break it free of its connections. We're gonna do the same thing with the other polyp. We're probably going to make sure her tubes are open with some wires uh, in a few minutes and then we'll go home. It's a very quick, safe procedure, hysteroscopy, very, very low risk. She is under anesthesia, but it's a rather light anesthesia called laryngeal mask, so she won't even have a sore throat uh, when she wakes up uh, about 15 minutes from now. So this is a hysteroscopy for endometrial polyps. We're going to get these polyps out. It's probably going to take me a little longer than this video will allow. But you can see how we're going to break off the base and then grab it with a tenaculum. Hey Kim, let's try a tenaculum right now. Maybe we can get this polyp out for this video. So you can see the base has been broken. We're going to go up with a, a little grabber instru instrument called a tenaculum. Now this polyp is also pretty big. We it may not want to come out through the small hole, but let's see if we can get it here for this video. I'm going to twist it. It's called roping it up. Let's see if it'll come. And it may resist us. Yeah, we may need to clip the base with some scissors. But you can get you get the idea. We're gonna get this polyp out. We're gonna look at it under the microscope and for the pathology department. And if there is cancer, we'll need to see what kind it is and uh, we'll treat her appropriately. But clearly we need to get these polyps out. It should fix her bleeding, and we will manage her with carbohydrate restriction, weight loss medicines of the progesterone types, and we will get her back to normal, fix her bleeding, and restore her fertility. So this is Dr. Wilshire at Missouri Fertility in Columbia, Missouri. I hope that was interesting for you. Thank you very much.